Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we are going to build the kernel and make some additional modules on board the NVIDIA Jetson TX1. Let's get started. The process for building the kernel on the Jetson TX1 is similar to what it was in previous releases. One of the things that has changed, however, is that the amount of extra space on a freshly flashed TX1 has diminished quite a bit. So let's take a look here. You can see that if we do the properties here on our little friendly computer, we have about 3.9 gigabytes free. That's just enough to actually build the kernel and modules. But it does mean that but at the end of this process, we will have to clear off some space so the machine can actually boot. So let's get started. Let's set our clocks to maximum speed. That should help us with the compile time. Then on the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Build Jetson TX1 Kernel. We are going to clone that repository. And switch over to that repository's directory. There's three steps. The first step is to get the kernel sources. This will get the kernel sources and set up the configuration file for us. We are now ready to set up our kernel configuration. Let's fix up our view a little bit here. Click on this icon back over here. Raise that one. Okay, first thing, general setup. We need to set the local version. We can look up the current local version. You name minus R. So 4.4.38 is the kernel revision, minus Tegra is the local version. If you just want to compile modules for a stock kernel, use this as your local version. In this case, I'm going to use a custom local version. We'll call it JetsonBot. Next, we'll add in a new module. Let's find ACM. Here it is. This is for USB devices which identify themselves as ACM. You'll see that in slash dev slash TTY ACM. Let's build it into the kernel. So this check mark means if you only hit the dot that builds it as an external module. That will be it for now. Let's make sure we save it. And we'll close our kernel configuration editor. Let's see what's next. The second step is to make the kernel. The script will apply a couple of patches to the make files so that it will build on board the Jetson. And then it will compile the kernel and the modules and then install the modules.
Okay, the third step is to copy the image. This will copy the image that we just built into the boot directory. It's important that you copy the image before you attempt to do any cleanup in case you clean up <laughs> the thing you just built. Don't ask me how I know that. All of the files that we just built are located in slash user slash source. Source release is the compressed version of the kernel sources along with some other packages. Kernel is where we built the image and hardware is another one that gets created in the process. If we take a look at our disk space, we can see that we don't have very many bytes free. What I recommend you do is that you take the kernel, the hardware, and the sources release and copy them over to a USB stick or a SATA drive in case you want to use them later. I have already created my backups, so I'm going to just delete things now so I can get some extra space back. We need to use sudo here. We're in the system area. Remove source release. And let's get rid of the kernel folder. And we'll get rid of the hardware folder. That should give us some room. Let's take a look. Computer. 3.8 GBs. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's reboot. Let's take a look at the version. You name minus R. Jetson bot. So we have our new kernel. I will leave a card here to show you how to move things about if you are actually building your kernel on board an SSD. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If this is your first time through, Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.